Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I want to share with you a little bit more about the Xiaomi 14 that I've actually been using for I think about one to two weeks now. Obviously, I'm actually on my trip, traveling, a road trip, and I've actually used this device here to capture like more than three to 400 photos, about 40 to 50 videos, so I'm going to share with you all about my experience taking photos on the Xiaomi 14. Now, it's worth mentioning that the device itself comes with the new uh, Leica Sumi Lux lens. So you can expect a bit of improvements, not just in terms of the hardware, but also in terms of the image processing. And of course, there's a bit of improvements to the video section as well, which I will share with you a bit more later. So let's begin today's video right away. Now, I just want to summarize my you know, photograph experience into a couple of points here. Today's video, again, is primarily going to be focused on the camera experience. So the first point here, let me talk a bit about the colors, the pictures that's coming off the camera itself. Now, if you've used a previous Xiaomi phone that actually collab with Leica, you will feel very much at home as soon as you start snapping photos. The colors actually look very similar. And what I really love about these kind of colors, which I actually mentioned in my previous videos as well, is that it looks very true to life. It looks like it was taken by a professional camera. The pictures looks very clean. There's very minimal amount of noise and there's very little kind of image processing that's going on. So whenever you take a photo, whatever you're seeing on the screen of the phone is what will be captured in the end. Now, this is not like other phones. You know, some other phones, whenever you take a photo, it takes like one or two seconds to process the image and it turns out looking very different from what you're seeing on the screens. So it doesn't happen here on the Xiaomi 14 because what you see on the screen is exactly what you will get. So that's great in terms of my books. Now let's move on to the second point here and let's talk a bit about the telephoto lens. Now what we have on board is actually a 3.2 times zoom. So again, I'm not gonna give you a lot of numbers because ultimately what you should really care about is in terms of the quality. I noticed that even when I shot at the one times as well as the 3.2 times, that there was actually a lot of detail that was actually being captured by the lenses themselves. And there's actually a very good amount of consistency in terms of the white balance, regardless of the lens that you are using. So the colors of the pictures will turn out very consistent as well. And again, you can rely very heavily on the telephoto lens to capture pictures with a lot of detail. It just gives you a bit more different kind of perspective whenever you're trying to shoot different kind of objects. Now my third point here is actually related to video. Now for video, I actually noticed a bit of an improvement not just in terms of the back but also at the front. Now for the rear camera, I have been primarily shooting 4K60 with Dolby Vision turned on and I must say again, very very impressed with the kind of videos coming out from here. One I noticed was that the stabilization was actually very good. So if you are going to be taking, you know, like vlogs, sometimes you go on your travels and you just want to take short videos, you can rely very strongly on the OIS on board as well as the image quality to actually get a very good video. All right, so this is the Xiaomi 14. This is what we are looking at, ultra wide, 4K 60. And if you just walk this way, like this, you can see the photos on the right. And check it out, it's quite nice. Let me know how the stabilization feels like. It's actually raining right now, so hopefully the phone stays dry. Now, what I think most of you might be concerned about is the front-facing camera because a lot of you have been asking for this and good news, 4K 60 on the front-facing camera is now here on the Xiaomi 14. So just again, in terms of video all around, you can expect improvements not just to the rear but also to the front. Now, moving on to my fourth point, let's talk a bit about the shutter speed. Now, what I noticed about the shutter speed on the Xiaomi 14 is that it is blazing fast. Now, I think this is partly attributed to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 that we have on board that makes things very fast and quick. But just taking photos, guys, it's so fast to the point where, you know, I was just picking up some ice, snow, or whatever, throwing it into the air, and we just kept hitting the shutter button, and it was actually able to capture the ice, the snow, in the air without it having any kind of motion blur. I even tried taking a moving car, one snap, and I was able to capture the picture of the car with its wheels completely stationary, even though it was moving. So again, you can expect some really fast shutter speed coming off from the Xiaomi 14. Now, ultimately, how I would sum up my experience with the, you know, the Leica lens on the Xiaomi 14 here is that the experience is actually very similar to taking photos with a professional camera. This is what my key takeaway is. If you're the kind of person who, you know, don't want to invest too much in a large, you know, camera, which I actually do use quite often. You can actually just use the you know, Xiaomi 14 here with its Leica Xiaomi Lux lens and capture a lot of very beautiful aesthetic looking photos. Now the good thing is that this phone is also super compact. I think this is one of the most compact phones I've used in like a couple of months now. And it actually fits very well in most of your pockets. It will be very comfortable to hold, but don't be fooled by the size itself. This is actually a camera powerhouse because it's just able to capture all the kind of beautiful photos that you've seen on the screens as well as those very, very good videos. So yes, this is my very quick sort of like photography kind of review of the Xiaomi 14. 
Now, before I go, I just want to leave you one tip that might help you out in your photography experience. Say, for example, if you do happen to get the Xiaomi 14 and you want to get like even better kind of pictures, more aesthetic kind of photos, all you need to do is just swipe all the way to the left, go to the pro mode. You might want to go into the EV, drop it down by about like negative 1.0 and just start shooting because sometimes, you know, you might, your picture might get very exposed, very bright. So when you just drop it down to negative 1.0 and you just start capturing the pictures, you'll be able to capture even more detail. You just look a bit more aesthetic in my personal opinion. If you do have any tips you want to share, feel free to leave them down below because, you know, we're all about this sharing. Now, last but not least, in case you want to get your hands on one of these Xiaomi 14 devices, the pricing is, if I'm not mistaken, RM3499 here in Malaysia. I'll put in all the official links down below in case you want to check that out. If you're looking to get yourself a compact phone but still packs a very powerful camera, especially with those Leica coloring, if you're liking what you're seeing, the kind of photos that I've taken, then you might want to consider getting yourself one of these devices. Now, with that said, thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. I'll be continuing my journey and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel. It really helps out a lot. Thank you and see you again. Bye-bye.